Hey everyone, Jaws Jr. here. I hope you can hear me. It's kind of a windy day. We are boondocking it. As you can see, we are here set up with what an incredible view this is. We are waterfront on the Columbia River just below the John Day Dam. Trailers level, propane's turned on, furnace is going, the wife is cold. Well, the Mrs. Jaws Jr., I should say, is cold. Simon, the pug, is hungry. So we have to take care of all of that fun stuff. So, yeah. Let's come down here and take a look at the sturgeon fishing platform. platforms all up and down this area. We have one other boondocker here. Interstate 84 is above us up there. You'll see a car driving across up there in a second. Maybe not. And just down the road here is the town of Rufus, Oregon. That's where the exit is at to come here. So there you go, everybody. Something new. Sorry, it's been a while since I've uh, done any videos for all of you. At home, it's just been doing nothing but raining. And it's kind of hard to do fun entertaining videos that involve us uh, being outside when it's just raining all the time so we had to come over here to this side of the state and dry outside there you go hang tight who knows where this adventure is going to go next Okay, second try. The first one was with my phone. The second time is with my medium camera. I forgot my good camera today. So I thought I would pull this one out and just for my own curiosity's sake to look at the color comparison. I haven't done that before. You'd think I'd be smart enough by now to do something like that, but no, not me. So there we go. Okay, I'm going to do my own 360. Get off me. Isn't that beautiful? Sorry, I stopped the 360. That is just incredible. Okay, I had to pull this one out because the color do does look better than the other camera. Look how beautiful that is. Here comes a train. Great timing. I'll set you music. And I think to myself, what a wonderful What a wonderful world. But 
Jaws Jr. here at night. This is an incredible view of the John Day Dam. Which you hear at night though, you can't see anything except for that red flashing light right there. There it is. But that is really cool. We stepped outside of our little uh, boondock at home tonight and saw this and thought, wow, that is cool. It's really neat. So we'll turn around and see our home. Yep, it's dark. Talk to you soon. Good morning, everybody. We survived the night here boondocking down below the John Day Dam without a problem. And of course, here's Simon doing his normal stuff. Simon, what are you doing, huh? What are you doing? Oh yes, he's always too cute. He is always too cute. So other than that, we're going to button this thing up, get this thing buttoned up, which doesn't take much, plugging it back in, pulling up the jacks, pulling up the shock blocks, get the leveling boards out from underneath of it, and get our way to our next destination. We're going to be at the Umatilla Marine and RV Park, right along the Columbia River in Umatilla, Oregon, for our next stop. We'll be there for two nights. So other than that... Uh, we'll show you some more as we get there, but yeah. For those of you who like to be a boondocking next to the water, for free, I might add, uh, this is about the best you can kind of come up with. I wish I would have remembered my other camera. I would sit up a, a time lapse for you guys and show this show this to you for a nice little time lapse. So for now, Simon and I will be back. Hey everybody, I am back. We are at Umatilla Marine and RV Park. That will take you around here to where we're at. But yes, we're all set up here. So, nice little park here. What I'll do is I'll put the GPS coordinates to this park in the description below, as well as where we were at yesterday. So let's walk on out here to show you where the kind of view we have. What you see over there is the bridges of Interstate 80, the bridges for Interstate 82, going over from uh, Umatilla over to Washington, and then there's the Columbia River. So basically this is our view for the day. We'll be here for a couple of days. Nice relaxing place to be. Okay, see you in a bit. Good morning.
morning everybody this is a wonderful Easter morning here at the Umatilla Marine and RV Park but we're getting ready here real soon to hit the road we're going to go off to a, another place that we know and have a good time today so we're gonna spend some time with family as well as uh, just kind of goofing off that's a whole that's a whole goal of all of this is just just to have fun with family on this trip but uh, yeah we're gonna get it all set up and uh, just get going here real soon so really not much going on other than it's a beautiful morning can't see anything though because of these big monster RVs but that's okay No wind, nice and warm. Little quick walk around of the RV. And it wasn't too full. I mean, all the good spots, which are the northern side, north, the sides on the north side of the RV park are full, including us. And you come down here and there's one open up. But it's a nice RV park. I recommend this one to anybody who's going to come here. There's plenty of spaces between the vehicles. Let's see, there's a couple of spots over there opening this morning up. And then on the south side, of course we have the full bathrooms, full showers, men and women. Uh, they keep it clean. That's for the internet, for the Wi-Fi, which works okay. I wish it would work a little bit better, but it works okay. So, there you go everybody. This is the RV park we spent out the last two nights. Pretty nice. And everybody of all sizes and types are here. From the little ones like we have to the big diesel pushers. But it's really nice here. And then there's us over there. So there you go everyone. I'll check in with you later when we reach our next destination.
I am back. But it's been a day. The wind's been blowing like crazy. And I've not been able to get the camera out to show you what's been going on due to the, all the wind noise I'd be giving you. I'm kind of sitting here behind a here, hill here right now, out in the middle of nowhere, showing, just going to show you guys what's around me. A lot of nothing. We're out here doing some uh, Indian or Native American arrowhead hunting. We're just seeing if there's any surface finds out here. We're on a kind of a sand dune, naturally occurred sand dune of just windblown, and uh, we're just seeing what we can find. But we have a source, pretty good source, saying that there's some out here. So I'll show you around here. Sorry for the finger. Well, that was a fail. We found a little small, what they call napping pieces, but uh, no full points, no arrowheads. So, we, so it was fun, something new. But yes, this is where we were at. Now we're going to go look at something else, and I had better hurry because uh, he started up and might leave me behind. Talk to you soon. Josh Jr. here. We are on our return trip to back home, but right now we are at the Dalles Dam Visitor Center. Have it here, pulled in here to have lunch. They're closed this time of year. They're open from uh, May till September, so they're closed right now, but the parking lot's open. And it's a good spot to sit here and have uh, lunch for the day. Plenty of picnic area, camp and stuff, plus we have a good river of the one, a good view of uh, the Columbia River and the Dalles Dam. So let me walk over here and show that to you. So, nice day, incredible day. So there's the Dalles Dam. Last night, we were staying out on some private property, but I have a uh, pretty cool time lapse I want to show you and I'm going to have to show that to you right now longer but a gust of wind came up and knocked the camera over but hey things happen here's that now for some of you newer RVers and I've been doing this for a little while and I still haven't learned my lesson mind you I'm six foot four quite tall so we're in a smaller travel trailer here but you see this right here this little metal piece up here that's a concussion maker if I've ever seen one on this trip, I have hit my head on that three times and once on the air conditioner. And this last time was here, uh, getting into it so we could have some lunch. Put me to my knees. So, uh, for all of you taller RVers, <laughs> watch your head. Man, my head hurts right now. Cut it the whole nine yards. We have to probably end up bandaging it up. I don't think it needs stitches or anything. I don't have blood running down my face. But wow, 
seeing stars the whole nine yards. Gave, probably gave myself a mild concussion. So all of you, just kind of take that a word of warning. Be careful. But there's our setup. We're going to be back up there on Interstate 84 after we top it off with gas and we're going to get out of here. So for now everybody, just remember, everyone's life is an adventure and you can have all kinds of adventures. But then there's mine, headache included. This is the Adventures of Jaws Jr., everyone. Have a good one. See ya.